Today's video is going to be a comparison of two different products from two different brands, which both have claims to be an alternative to Botox for smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles and giving an overall smoother appearance to the skin. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on both these products and my experiences using them both in my skincare routines. The two products I'm reviewing today are both by Canadian brands, and I love and support both of these brands already. First product is the Ordinary's Argyroline Solution 10%, which I bought myself, and the second product is from Indeed Labs. They sent me this product for this review. There are a number of similarities between these two, but a number of differences as well. So this video, I'm going to walk you through that. Now I've already done a full review on the Ordinary's Argier Line Solution, so I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one in the description box below for you to see. Right off the bat, let's talk about size and price. The Ordinary's Argier Line Solution is a 30 mil size and it's $7.90 Canadian. So you just can't beat the Ordinary for their price point. And in my opinion, they really don't compromise quality to achieve that price point. The Snoxon 2, I don't know, I, I just find that name funny. The Synoxin 2 is 30 mils for $27.99 Canadian. So there is a big difference in price point. If the action of both of these is similar in the skin, then clearly the ordinary wins on the price point. But if Synoxin actually does work better in the skin, I, I would call this a mid-range price for a product of this size and what it's intended to do. I'm willing to pay extra if I know that it's actually going to work on my skin. In fact, I'd rather pay a little bit more if I know that I'm going to see results versus basically wasting my money on products that are ineffective. But what are your thoughts on that? Tell me in the comments, are you willing to pay more or is price point your ultimate deciding factor? Both of these products claim to target dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. Dynamic fine lines and wrinkles can be thought of those wrinkles that are caused by repetitive muscle movement in the skin. So those areas of the skin that are repeatedly creasing, like this when I smile at my crow's feet around my eyes, my laugh lines, the 11s in my forehead, just bang my elbow there, ow, that really hurt. You get what I'm saying. This is precisely why both of these products are dubbed as Botox in a bottle because the way they're formulated is to communicate with the cells in your skin to minimize that muscle movement and essentially keep the muscles from contracting similar to Botox. I'm very skeptical of companies when they make claims to achieve results similar to surgery or injections or treatments you would get in a dermatologist's office or in the hands of an esthetician. However, not only is there some research to support both of these, albeit from their manufacturers, there's also so many anecdotal reports of people who actually get really good results from these products. So we'll talk about that as well. These are both peptide serums, and I love having peptide serums in my skincare routines for multiple reasons. Peptides are really believed to help produce collagen in the skin and build elastin in the skin, which is why they are fantastic as part of an anti-aging skincare routine. I use peptide serums very regularly in both my morning and evening skincare routines, and it's not only for those anti-aging benefits, it's also because they give incredible hydration for the skin, and let's face it, hydrated, plumped up skin does diminish the look of fine lines and wrinkles as well. When it comes to the ingredients in both of these products, for the Argyroline solution, there is a 10% Argyroline complex. Argyroline is a brand name for acetylhexapeptide 3 that the ordinary is using in this formulation. The manufacturer of Argyroline has done studies on Argyroline's efficacy in the skin for targeting the look of dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. But of course, it would be nice to have more robust studies done other than the manufacturer that would really round out these claims. There are other emulsifiers in here as well as propanediol, which really acts as a moisturizer and humectant and some preservatives as well. Now, I've been using this serum long before I was on YouTube so I didn't take before and after pictures or anything when I implemented this into my skincare routine. So my results with this product are purely anecdotal and from my own perspective. How I've used this serum is really targeted. So I put a few drops in the palm of my hand. I apply it in the areas that I want to see the results. So that is around my eyes, on my laugh lines, and on my forehead. 
My subjective findings using this product is that it really does seem to work if you use it consistently. Is it Botox in a bottle? Well, personally, I don't think anything can actually replicate what Botox does in the skin, but I've used this for a long time and it still remains in my skincare routine. So that says a lot. Now for this product, the Synoxin 2 by Indeed Labs, I feel like this is formulated more elegantly. When it comes to the peptide complex, first is XEP-18, which is a trademark. This is the one that actually causes the muscle to relax. Again, similar to the Argira line studies, for this one, the manufacturer has also shown studies that prove its efficacy actually in as little as two hours after the application. Well, I put that to the test and here are my before and after pictures. I let three hours elapse and I don't know if my wrinkles were too deep for this to work. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem, but I didn't see a big change in my skin. Comment below, do you see any change here? Maybe I'm just too close to the situation. But to be honest, I wasn't really expecting this to work over two hours. That was not my expectation with the Argira line solution either. And that's why I think consistent use, you're probably going to see better results than expecting some fabulous, miraculous change in your skin after only two hours. The Synoxin 2 also contains this peptide, which is the same as Matrixyl Synth 6. That's an ingredient that's also found in a couple of the other ordinary serums, primarily the Matrixyl Serum and the Ordinary's Buffet Serum. I've already done videos on those two products as well. I'll also link those at the end of this video in case you missed them and in the description box below. Matrixyl is meant to boost collagen production in the skin and is also thought to increase hyaluronic acid production in the skin, which really, again, is helping to plump and hydrate the skin from the inside out. It also contains this peptide, which is a tripeptide that, according to the manufacturer, can intensely hydrate the skin and really speed up skin cell renewal, which, of course, contributes to to the diminished look of your wrinkles. I apply Synoxin 2 all over my face. Similar to the Argira line solution, there are also emulsifiers and preservatives, but instead of propaneol as the humectant, Synoxin has glycerin, which I definitely prefer over propaneol for its moisturizing benefits. When it comes to application, there's a notable difference too. When it comes to the Argira line solution, it's in a dropper bottle and it has a very watery consistency. It's actually kind of difficult to apply I find and not have it uh, running all around your face whereas the Synoxin is a beautiful creamy texture much like a moisturizer. I actually prefer this kind of texture a moisturizing texture over a watery texture. I'm a texture kind of gal so I would say top of the list for me is always a creamy emulsion like this. Next come the gel like texture because I just love the feeling of that. Last is the watery serums. That's just a personal preference though. But both of these fit really well in a skincare routine. I had no problem applying these in the morning and there was no peeling under my makeup or concealer. Are either of these serums Botox in a bottle? I have to say no. Again, I just don't believe the claims that you can achieve the same results. That kind of treatment just doesn't compare to a topical application of something. Do I think these can actually help with the reduction of dynamic fine lines and wrinkles? Well, yes, I've been a big fan of the Argira line solution for a very long time. I do really think that with consistent application, I've seen results using it over time. However, which one do I prefer? I have to say, I really like a number of things with the Synoxin. I dislike the price because, of course, the Ordinary wins on that. I like the creamy texture, like I said. I like the added benefits of the additional peptides that are in this one, as well as the moisturizing properties that I think do a better job than the Argira line for my skin. And that's why I like to apply this one all over my face as part of my skincare routine. I feel like I'm getting all of the benefits of those muscle relaxing peptides, but the other peptides and moisturizing ingredients that are in this product. Even though my before and after picture didn't show fabulous results, I think that was a bit much to ask for. What are your thoughts on these two products? And do you think it's possible for a product to live up to its claims of being Botox in a bottle? Thanks for watching. Enjoy watching my other peptide videos and I hope you have a fabulous day.